me today is Illinois Senate President John Cullerton. Senator, thank you for taking some time to talk to me. Thank you. So on election day, voters returned healthy Democratic majorities in the Illinois House and Senate and also put Democratic Governor Pat Quinn back in the governor's office. What do you think the message is from voters to state government? Well, unlike um, most of uh, the rest of the nation uh, where there were big Democratic losses, uh, we had some minimal losses <clears throat> here in the uh, Illinois Senate as well as the House, but we are one of 10 states that have uh, majority Democratic uh, majority of Democrats in both the House and the Senate and the governorship. So I think folks said, um, whatever we've been doing, keep on uh, doing it. It's been the toughest time in really uh, our lifetime in terms of the economy. Things are improving and they want us to continue uh, trying to improve the economy. Uh, and that's what we are going to be doing. We're about to start <coughs> up a, uh, the, the fall session for the General Assembly. What do you see as the agenda for the, the two-week session? Well, in addition to the normal veto uh, messages that we have to take up that the governor has promised, there's been a, a number of uh, new initiatives um, that uh, co inevitably come to the General Assembly. Uh, there's been a request uh, for uh, expansion of gambling. There's been a request for uh, some legislation dealing with the, sh the Chicago Cubs. There's um, uh, people that have come to the legislature saying we have to create more jobs and we like some of the incentives you've created for uh, other businesses. We'd like to do some more of that. So those are the things we're going to be considering as well, besides the regular vetoes. And then when we head into the, the in 2011, the, the new session of the General Assembly, um, with, with the, the challenges the state faces aren't <coughs> by any means a secret, what do you think will will be the difference, or what do you hope to accomplish with the Democratic majorities uh, going well, into the next session? Well, actually, for, first of all, last year uh, and, and this, this year, uh, working with Republicans, we've accomplished a lot. So we've already passed the Capitol Bill, which hadn't passed in 10 years. We passed major ethics reforms. We passed legislation uh, really saving our, our pension systems by reducing future benefits uh, for future hires but solidifying the current funds. And we've passed legislation that um, will result in more shows coming back to McCormick Place. The National Restaurant Association just announced today that they're going to be uh, signing new contracts. So uh, those were done in a bipartisan way. So we're going to continue to work with Republicans. People really don't want to have intramural fighting uh, in the legislature. They'd like to have the Democrats and Republicans work together. Uh, the difference, <clears throat> hopefully next year, will be that Republicans will also help us with the budget. That wasn't the case so much last year. Uh, we need to have their input. So I believe that we will be working uh, to try to uh, bring about uh, some savings to the taxpayers. We're going to have to um, do some more cutting, uh, even a, beyond the $3 billion that we've already cut out of the budget. And I expect that we'll be able to find some savings in things like um, health care costs for the state. That'll be a big factor. Also, workers' comp is an area that we think we can make our state more business uh, friendly, and that's another area where we're going to work with the Republicans to try to uh, bring about some changes. Is there anything specific about <coughs> workers' compensation that, that you would see as in need of reform? Well, workers' comp um, is a real complicated issue because it involves doctors, it involves lawyers, it involves um, the unions, it involves the business community. And it's not an easy thing um, even for Republicans. It's not like a Democrat versus Republican issue. So I suspect that we will be having some special committees that will meet. Uh, again, always looking for cooperation with Republicans to see if we can uh, improve our, our business climate. Uh, backing up for a minute to, to the gaming expansion proposals that are being talked about, uh, what do you think is, it, is this an appropriate time to take up that time of type of proposal? There have been no shortage of critics who say, oh, the, the state's finances are more important, or why are you doing this now in an abbreviated session? Right. <clears throat> the, um, the horse racing industry uh, came to us in May. Uh, they had reached some kind of an agreement amongst themselves, the tracks and the horsemen, uh, and they wanted to uh, have us e expand slots at the track. Uh, I held off then and said we will uh, work on it over the summer, see if we can get more of a consensus along with the uh, riverboats that are existing. Some people want new riverboats. So that's what's been happening. And so we're in those discussions right now. Uh, but it certainly would be appropriate. They were ready to vote on a, a bill in May. 
Uh, I said let's hold off until we have some more time. So I think it certainly would be appropriate to, to do, do this. And if we were to pass something, it would certainly help our economy as well. There's no question about that. It's just that it's a very controversial issue because some people are just opposed to gambling. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Governor Quinn was elected to a full term. Uh, what are you hoping to see and hear from the governor as he heads into an elected term in that office? Well, we're going to continue to cooperate with the governor. He's one of a f only a few Democratic governors uh, in the middle of the country. Uh, the number of Republican governors will now learn how tough it is to balance budgets. We're, we're from the, the, that government that can't print money unlike the federal guys. So uh, those Republican governors are going to find what Governor Quinn has found when he was um, installed as the governor, and that is there's less money for the states to work with, and we can't have to have a balanced budget. So the only thing to do is either raise taxes, as some 20 states have done, or cut, or some combination thereof. So I'm sure that the governor is going to continue to work with us to try to bring about a balanced budget.